A simulated emergency with real fire. A start with no accelerant. It quickly grows to a flame-filled room. Then, in less than two minutes, flames pushing out and above the structure. There's also thick, dark smoke. Those smoke conditions travel through that whole structure rapidly. It does bring that realistic factor up that much more. A newly completed burn center. Simulated situations just started this week. Blacked out conditions with, with high heat around them, um, being able to move the hose lines, um, being able to do a search under those um, harsh conditions. Then when they get out to the real calls, they can deal with the unknowns and they don't have to deal with what should have been already previously known. This center makes live fire training readily available. Up until now, it required an agreement with our local military bases and happened maybe once every year or two. This does bring training up quite a bit. Black Forest Fire Bosses designed the burn site. It had to happen on a limited budget, so it borrows from other training centers. And there was some dealing for used shipping containers. It came together for around $30,000, about the price of a mid-range car. We don't have a lot of resources. Um, so how do we leverage what resources we do have into the best facility we can get. At the Black Forest Fire Headquarters, but. The actual title here is the Palmer Ridge Regional Training Center. It's because it is for any fire department in the region to come and train. Leverage all of our minimal resources into a much bigger and better training facility. Shared resources, knowledge, and now live fire with the goal of saving property and lives. Watching out for you, El Paso County, Bill Folsom, News 5.